Alright, so this is going to be a demo of a little app called FaceSniff. It's for Android, native app. Uh, here's basically your menu. You get to choose stealth mode. The SSL strip isn't enabled yet. You can't click it. And you have a start button. That's about it. So we're going to start it up here. Click OK. This is FaceSniff service started. Now you can see I'm logged into Facebook on my desktop. And this is wired on the same network. So I'm going to refresh. I don't even have to do anything um, because of all the Ajax calls from the chat client. This cookie shows up here, so I click it. And inside of FaceSniff's Face browser now, I'm logged in as the session that I just jacked. should be myself, so I'll go to my profile. Type in tests post a status update here hit share so you can see that ended up at the top of my wall happened just now on here we'll refresh my profile page and you'll see 13 seconds ago via mobile it says test Okay, so now if I go into where I'm logged in up here and I click on log out. So back in the app here, if I hit the home page, you can see it's already logged me out, so I have to log back in here. The phone never actually saw the password, so this is only valid as long as the computer that you're sniffing the cookie from is logged in. Okay, so because FaceSniff doesn't have this SSL button enabled yet, you can see SSL strips coming soon, but it's not enabled yet. There's a really easy way to block against this type of attack. All you need to do when you're logged into Facebook, go to the little arrow in the upper right, go to account settings. Over here you're going to go to security. And on the secure browsing, you're going to click on that make sure it's enabled you want to use HTTPS so you'll see as soon as we do that when that happens up here our address bar turns blue and you're seeing we're using HTTPS instead of HTTP FaceNIF isn't able to break SSL encryption yet so HTTPS it won't be able to sniff